Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the conditions for the bromination of benzene. You should then be able to describe the mechanism for this reaction. So far on this topic, we've been looking at how benzene reacts. Remember that benzene has a ring of six carbon atoms, and each carbon is also bonded to a hydrogen atom. We've seen that in benzene, one electron from each carbon atom is in a p orbital. Adjacent p orbitals overlap sideways, forming a ring of electron density above and below the plane of the carbon atoms. And scientists say that these electrons are delocalized within a pi bonding system. This pi bonding system of delocalized electrons is energetically very stable. When benzene reacts, the delocalized electron system is maintained in the product. Benzene reacts by electrophilic substitution, and we saw that in the last video when we looked at the nitration of benzene. In this video, we're looking at the bromination of benzene. Now, benzene cannot react directly with a molecule of bromine. Because the pi electrons are delocalized, the electron density between any two adjacent carbon atoms is not enough to induce a dipole in the bromine molecule. Instead, we need to use a catalyst called a halogen carrier, for example, iron bromide or aluminium bromide. In the case of iron bromide, we can simply add iron metal to the reaction. The iron will react with some of the bromine to form iron bromide. And bromination is carried out at room temperature and pressure. Now you'll notice that in this reaction, we've replaced a hydrogen atom on the benzene ring with a bromine atom. So this is an example of electrophilic substitution. And in the bromobenzene molecule, we still have the delocalized electron system. Now bromination of benzene actually consists of three stages. In the first stage, the bromine molecule reacts with the halogen carrier to form a positive bromonium ion. And the bromonium ion is the electrophile in the bromination of benzene. In stage two, a pair of electrons from the delocalized electron structure of benzene forms a dative covalent bond to the bromonium ion, and we make an unstable intermediate. As you can see, the bromonium ion is acting as an electrophile. In the intermediate, the delocalized electron structure of benzene has been partially broken. So now the electron pair between the hydrogen and carbon atom moves down into the delocalized electron system. And this restores the delocalized electron system of the benzene ring. We've now formed our product molecule, bromobenzene. We've also formed a hydrogen ion, H+. In stage three, the hydrogen ion reacts with the FeBr4- ion made in the first stage. And this regenerates the halogen carrier catalyst. Now we can use a similar reaction to make chlorobenzene. In this case, we use chlorine plus the halogen carrier aluminium chloride or iron chloride. And again, in the case of iron chloride, we can simply add metallic iron to the reaction. The iron will react with some of the chlorine to form iron chloride. In the next video, we look at the alkylation and acylation of benzene.